welcome to the Freaky Phone Project. You should think of this phone as a puzzle that you must solve in order to win. When the phone rings, pick it up and listen to whatever it has to say. Every now and then, the phone will slip the clue leading to a historic person. There are six clues in all. Hopefully you won't need them all. When you think you know who the person is, lift the earpiece and spell the person's last name using the letters on the dial. For example, if you want the letter K, you will dial four, three times after each other. You should also know that you cannot force the phone to ring. It rings when it rings, and therefore this puzzle may require some patience to solve. GLHF hyper-intelligent, pan-dimensional beings got so fed up with the constant bickering about the meaning of life that they commissioned two of their brightest and best to design and build a stupendous supercomputer to calculate the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Oh, deep thoughts. We want you to tell us the answer. The answer to what? The answer to life. The universe. Everything. We really like an answer. Something simple. Hmm, you have to think about that. Return to this place in exactly seven and a half million years. Can I find us? I don't know. That's right. They go back. What, seven and a half million years later? That's right. They do. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is forty-two. Forty-two? Yes, yes, I brought it over quite thoroughly. It is, it's forty-two. It would have been simpler, of course, to have known what the actual question was. But it was the question. The ultimate question. Oh, that's not a question. 
question. Only when you know the question will you know what the answer means. You must be up to my question then. I can't. But there is one who can. A computer that will calculate the ultimate question. A computer of such infinite complexity that life itself will form part of its operational matrix. And you yourselves shall take on new, more primitive forms and go down into the computer to navigate its 10 million year program. I shall design this computer for you and it shall be called... <coughs> Blah, 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 Mr. Freeman. Cuba. Okay, how can I help you? You ever served in an infantry unit? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Ever served in a forward area? I don't know who this is. Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, commanding officer, Marine Ground Forces, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear. I understand who you are, but That's I don't right. know you. Who are you? You me? want answers? Yeah, you call me and I have no idea what you want. You can't handle the truth! Who is it? Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, command officer of the ground forces Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. I'm not even going to, I don't want to talk anymore about this. You have that luxury. I have that luxury? I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself. Why? This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Are we clear? We're clear. Are we clear? I thought we were clear. That's right. I'm a fair guy, but this heat is making me absolutely crazy. Thank you. 
Yeah. 